Bitcoin falling back below $50,000 after reclaiming that threshold over the weekend, still shy of its all-time high of $64,000 set back in April. The cryptocurrency space still getting a boost to begin the week, though, after PayPal announced it would allow UK citizens to buy and sell digital currencies on its platform. Coinbase also saying last week it would buy $500 million worth of cryptocurrencies for its balance sheet. So is this time, is this a renaissance moment for the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency space as we watch the asset trade higher? Joined by Bill Baruch of Blue Line Capital and John Petrides of Tocqueville Asset Management. And John, what really did it for me was Robin Hood's earnings report last week where it basically reinforced this idea that despite the volatility in cryptocurrencies, it's seeing a lot of its retail trading audience um, Place bets in this space. Yeah, well, I think if you put your long-term investment hat on, there are two ways to look at this space. One is cryptocurrency, the asset class, and then the second one is an investment in the blockchain. And for our team specifically, uh, from a long-term theme perspective, we think the blockchain has a lot of value to it. And we think, uh, you know, through ETHE, the Ethereum Grayscale uh, Unit Trust, I think is an interesting way for uh, some of our clients with a bit more of aggressive bent. Uh, for the long-term time horizon to play the blockchain. Because as the world moves to more non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and as we see more big players like PayPal and Visa and others start moving and converging onto this space, we think that's going to lead to more activity on the blockchain. And when you do, uh, and, and Ethereum is the largest open source blockchain out there, and every time you do an NFT on the blockchain, you pay Ethereum a fee. That is a business value. To figure out where the cryptocurrency, and particularly Bitcoin in particular, is going, really is more like the greater full theory as to, you know, what does the next person think the actual cryptocurrency is worth? It's almost kind of like gold in the sense that you, it's hard to value the underlying asset class. So we prefer more on, uh, my team specifically prefers uh, more on the blockchain for, for a long-term solution in, in this ever-growing environment. Understood. Bill, uh, curious what your thoughts on are on the correlation between geopolitics and cryptocurrencies as we watch the events uh, unfold in Afghanistan. Yeah, I mean, I think you could see some of those events underpinning uh, the, the cryptocurrency environment in general. But I mean, make no mistake, there was a really good technical bottom that, that really happened. And, and first, I do want to say and give credit to John. He's, he's bringing up some great points. There, there's tremendous value in the blockchain itself. And and I'm, I mean, just looking past these coins, if you will, the, the Bitcoin or Ethereum or Solana. I mean, they're, the technology itself, I mean, ranging from, from what can be built on it, he mentioned NFTs, uh, or, you know, central bank digital currencies down the road. I mean, there's going to be some big winners in, in this space. So, you know, from here, I, I think it needs to be in your portfolio, but is, is 50000 the place to be, be buying it? I wouldn't chase it. Like you said, you know, there could be some geopolitics underpinning the, the recent move. But, but I think this was something in the making where uh, you keep hearing about it. You keep hearing corporations adopt it and uh, really great technical bottom. Now, um, for me, I'm invested in the space. I've trimmed a little bit into 50,000, sticking to my, my game plan. I own Bitcoin. I own Ethereum. I own Solana. I own a few others. Um, and, and we do some things in the space in general. So, again, I, I think it's a great space to be in. But don't chase it just because you see a 50,000 in the headlines. Pick your spots and stick to your game plan.